zoax.net. How to install PHP for IIS. To begin, you should have IIS installed. If you don't have it installed, you can follow our prior installation video to see how to install IIS. First, we need to make sure that we have CGI installed. To do that, move the cursor to the upper right corner of the screen and bring it down along the edge to open the side slide out menu. Left click search in the side menu. This will bring up the search box. In the search box, enter turn Windows features on or off and left click the icon underneath it to open the Windows Features dialog. Inside the dialog, find Internet Information Services and left click the plus sign next to it to expand the tree view under it. Next, left click the plus next to World Wide Web Services to expand the tree view further. Finally, left click the plus next to Application Development Features to expand it further. At this point, you should see an empty box next to CGI if it is not already installed. Finally, left-click the box to select it for installation, and left-click the OK button to begin the installation. After you click the OK button, you should see a progress dialog that says Searching for Required Files. After a brief time, the message will change to Applying Changes, and it should look like this for a while. When it is done, you will see this message saying Windows completed the requested changes. Left-click the Close button. Again, open the side search menu by sliding the cursor up to the corner and bringing it down again, and left-clicking the search icon. Then enter Web Platform Installer into the search box, and right-click the icon for Microsoft's Web Platform Installer, and left-click Run as Administrator in the context menu. You might get a user account control warning message box asking you if you want to allow the application to run. If you do, left click the yes button to go on. Now the web platform installer should be open and look like this. To start, left click the products link at the top of the window. Scroll down to find the latest version of PHP and left click the add button to select it for installation. Next, scroll to find PHP manager for IIS and left click its add button to select it. To begin the installation, left click the install button. This will bring up the license agreement. To accept it, left click the I accept button. This will begin the installation which will run for a while. When the installation is complete, you should see this. Left click the finish button and close the web platform installer dialog by left clicking the exit button. For the next step, we will create an example PHP code file. To do this, open the folder where you want to put your PHP code. I'm going to put it at the root directory for simplicity. Now right click to open the context menu. Mouse over new and left click folder to create a new folder. I'm going to name my folder test PHP for clarity. Next left click the folder to go into it and we will see that it is empty. Now we want to create our PHP file. We can use any text editor for this. Since I want to use something that everyone has, I will open notepad. You can open it by left clicking the icon in the start menu. To create our PHP file, enter this text into the window, then left click file in the menu bar and left click save as in the sub menu. This opens the save as dialog as shown here. Navigate to the folder that you just created and enter phpinfo.php in the box next to file name, then left click the save button. That saves the file to your folder. So you can close Notepad, and now you should see the file in the folder that you created. Now we want to open the IIS Manager and enable IIS on our new folder. Open the search box as we did before, and enter IIS Manager into it, and left click the icon below it to open the IIS Manager. Now you should have the IIS Manager open like this. Left click to expand the list in the left hand pane so that you can see sites in it. Left click the word sites to select it. In the center pane, left click default website or any other site that might be running on port 80. Then left click stop under manage website and verify that the site is stopped under status. Right click sites and left click add website in the left hand pane. Now enter php testing into the box under site name. 
and then enter the path for your new folder in the box under Physical Path. Finish by left-clicking the OK button. This might bring up a message box like this one. Left-click Yes to continue. Now you should see the site added and started like this. To see the page running, open a browser and enter http colon slash slash localhost slash phpinfo.php into the address bar and you should see the PHP information page shown here. That is all there is to it. If you did everything as I have done it here, everything should be automatically configured and working. If it does not work, check our lesson page for more directions on the configuration.